I'm Dr. Nasir Faisal Muhammad Ghazali. Today we're going to study the impact on jet forces. So the objective is to compare the measured forces and the theoretical forces. So the jet apparatus is as follows. So this is the nozzle and this is the surface that you can impact and this is the weight position that you want to put the weight. So this is the weight 5 newton and this is the weight 2 newton. So this is the control valve and this is the sum tank. When the jet of fluid impinge on the flat surface or hemisphere surface, it generates a force due to change of momentum of the fluid. For example, water with a velocity V from the jet nozzle with the empty D strikes on the flat surface or the hemisphere surface, the rate of change of momentum produced at its magnitude is the same as the force exerted on the flat plate and hemisphere to support the water jet. The force generated by a jet of water when it strikes the surface depends on the shape of the surface. You can look at the manual to find the formula. For the result, you record your data using table 1 and table 2. In table 1, the data for flat plate are measured force, volume of water collected, time, flow rate and theoretical force. In table 2, the data for hemispherical plate. For the discussion, you need to plot the graph of log F measured versus log velocity for both the flat plate and hemispherical surface on the same graph and also estimate the slope of the graph for both the flat plate and hemispherical surface and compare with the theoretical value as shown in equation 2 and equation 4 in the manual respectively. Comment on the difference. Also, estimate the y-intercept ratio of hemispherical surface to flat plate and compare with theoretical ratio as deduced from equation 2 and equation 4. 
comment on the difference. Also, compare the force exerted on the hemisphere surface with the one on the flat surface. Which one is greater and why? Compare the percentage of relative error for both the flat plate and the hemispherical surface. And finally, discuss on factors that contribute to the errors or inaccuracy in experiment data and the possible recommendation to improve the existing results.